points to keep in mind when you are shopping and buying your backpack for the Camino. Number one, there are different backpack sizes. So for the, if, for the left, uh, the, there are different left of backpacks. So there are large, medium, and uh, small. So you need to basically, uh, if you go to REI, for example, they will measure your, your bag and see which one is the, the perfect backpack for you. If they don't have a way to measure on the store that you go, you can just put and try if it fits well on your hips. It should, uh, the straps on the, on the hips should fit just perfectly on the hip bone, on the top of the hip bone. Uh, so that, that's number one. Number two, there are uh, a lot of backpacks with heavy duty fabrics that people use for campers use, like for backpacking, you know, carrying stuff, uh, tents, any kind of uh, cutting material and heavy material. And you basically don't need that for the Camino. You need just a, a lighter backpack. So this uh, kind of backpack for, for backpacking can weigh up to two kilograms. That's a lot, you know. Um, you don't want that for the Camino. So just look for the lighter fabric. Uh, doesn't matter if it's not very resistant because actually you are carrying only your clothes and small stuff for your Camino. Number three, there are new generation of backpacks that are the ultra light backpacks. So that's the most recommended. The only problem is that they are more expensive than regular backpack because they are ultra light and they are new and fancy. But I mean, if you have the money or if you, if you find a good deal, that's a good, a good thing to buy. <clears throat> Number four, check the manufacturer label for the weight of the, of the backpack. So when the backup is empty, you need to check the weight. And usually you can find the weight on the on the label for the manufacturer. Just check that and make sure it's a, a really light and, and, and not very heavy backpack. And that will be perfect for your Camino, okay?